The investigation continues into the deadly crash that occurred yesterday on Interstate 5. Police say Richard Scott drove the wrong way down I-5 and hit Karen Greenstein's car, which resulted in her death. Newswatch 12's Casey Kirshner is live in Central Point with more of the, about the details on the investigation and a key witness. OSP will continue to sort through the details of this investigation, but they have told us that alcohol was a factor in this specific case. The police will continue to interview witnesses, including a gas station attendant that um, saw Grant or saw I'm sorry saw Scott just minutes before that crash. Jennifer McCulloch works at Arco Gas Station on Terry Road in Grants Pass. For her, Thursday morning was normal until she says Richard Scott pulled in and he was clearly drunk. He was slurring his words so bad that I could not understand what he was saying. McCulloch says after she witnessed Scott stumbling in the parking lot, she knew he shouldn't be driving and called police. As soon as I was done with my cars, he was still paying for his gas when I went inside and made the phone call. So he stumbled back outside and stood in front of the store for a minute, fell into the, my door, and then stumbled out to his car and tried to pump his gas again. But McCulloch says she couldn't keep him any longer and watched him drive away. I'm still on the phone and I'm like, hey, he's getting in his car now. And he honks his horn like three times and pulls away, runs into a curb, flashes his light a bunch of times, and then takes off towards the freeway. She wished police would have gotten there sooner. I was on the phone with him for three and a half minutes, and it wasn't until like two minutes later after he left that I saw a cop start patrolling the area. OSP says this investigation is ongoing, but they're talking to witnesses like McCulloch. And we involve the gathering evidence, a uh, uh, total uh, reconstruction of the scene itself, interviewing all witnesses, and um, uh, we gather together and, and have a team that uh, works in these instances, puts our heads together, and then we go forward uh, with that case. And though McCulloch says she hopes criminal charges will be brought against him, she still wishes she would have kept him talking for just a few minutes more. And everyone says you did everything you can do, but I think anybody in my situation would feel the same way. You're always going to feel like there's more you could have done. The DA's office says charges for this case have not yet been determined, but they did tell me that typically the charges for a person involved in a fatal incident that also involved alcohol could be any degree of manslaughter or criminally, criminally negligent homicide. Live in Central Point, Casey Kirshner, Newswatch 12.